Hi, this is Yvonne Galusha, Business Computing Essentials Instructor. And the purpose of this little video is to talk about subscribing to a calendar. From the help session, excuse me, from the class intro sessions that we had, it, it was noted that I, it would help if some more things were done to help inform students of when things were due. So one suggestion was to put the range of the exact four days when assignments were available to work on which I've incorporated that, good idea. Another thing was that, for example, I color-coded this. The red ones everybody has to do, where the units then are each their own color. But some students may take the word a pass-out exam and then not have to do the rest of the unit work, and they may lose track of time and not know or miss when the next unit starts. So if you're one of those students, and even though you're getting my email to help remind you, uh, another thing you could do is subscribe to a calendar in SimNet. So if you click this little button, subscribe to calendar, it's going to show you the calendars that they support, or common ones anyway. There might be others that are supported because you really just need this URL right here. Now notice it says to copy the URL. I couldn't copy it. So what I did in preparation was I typed it right here in Notepad so that I can copy it from here. Just a little uh, trick. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to do it with Google Calendar. Um, I'm on a Windows machine. If you want to use something else, you'll need to uh, basically click these links and read the directions for those specific calendars. It's not very hard, so a lot of us use Google, so let's say you uh, want to incorporate this calendar, the SimNet calendar, into your normal Google Calendar. So over here under Other Calendars, you'll want to click the down arrow and say Add by URL. As you saw a minute ago, I copied the URL already, so you just Control V and paste it in, and then say Add to Calendar. And you'll see everything that I put on the SimNet calendar now shows here. Now, maybe you haven't done this already, but you can um, go to this particular calendar. Let me click the down arrow here. Now you see the calendar appear. So I'm right clicking here, and you can say calendar settings for that particular calendar you incorporated. And now you can uh, set it up here under reminder and notifications. And I'm not going to step through all this, but you can set it to send email, depending on the condition you want notified, or send text message. So this is a way to get the information popped to you in your mobile environment. Now, let's say you found this to be a little too much and you don't want it there anymore. Well, that's not too hard to do, deal with. Come back up here to other calendars. And again, click the uh, drop down list and go to settings. And there you can see this calendar that you incorporated, the SimNet, and you just say unsubscribe. And now, if we go back to the calendar, it's no longer there. So, hopefully, this little video helped you out in getting your information popped to you in terms of due dates on SimNet activities in this class.